Greetings P32 crew and especially all you lovely paid members out there who will be watching this video first. Uh, welcome to this special video where I'm very excited to announce that I have finally found a copy of Sergeant Seymour Robot Cop and ended my lifelong achievement of uh, collecting all of the single cassette tapes that were published by Codemasters for the ZX Spectrum. This is the very last game I've needed to get. I think that was probably about a year and a half between this and the last game I got. It's been that hard to track down, but I finally managed to get a copy and uh, it's, been, uh, it's been incredibly well looked after. Um, the inlay is really nice and uh, yeah, just almost brand new. It's, um, it's been really well looked after and uh, I'm so happy to have finally got this because I have been looking for it for ages and it is easily one of the hardest ZX Spectrum Codemasters releases to get hold of. Um, yeah, this has been like the bane of my existence for ages. This one and DJ Puff were easily the two hardest games to track down and uh, if you're thinking about collecting Codemasters games on the ZX Spectrum these are the two that are definitely going to give you the most trouble. Um, yeah, it's been many years since I first started recollecting Codemasters games. I think it was about six years ago I went up to my mum's loft and brought down uh, my old collection of Codemasters games and decided to start recollecting. So what I thought would I do was show off my entire Codemasters collection for you all. Starting off with the single jewels because there is so many of them. Uh, but I'll be going through the single jewels like this. I'll be going through the double jewels like this, which have like um, one or two tapes in. Uh, they're called jewels, single or double, because of the plastic cases, basically. I'll be going through the box sets. I'll be going through the CD games packs. And I'll be going through some spin-offs as well. There's loads, loads of Codemaster Spectrum goodness on the way for you. So, first up, I thought I'd show you what the entire collection looks like when it's all laid out on the floor in a big display here. There are all the single jewel cassettes here, uh, starting from the very first Codemasters uh, tape release, Phantomas, all going numerical order, left to right, all the way down to the very final release which was uh, Sergeant Seymour Robot Cop. That's one of the reasons why it's so hard to get hold of, is it's because, uh, you know, this was released when not many people had Spectrums anymore, so not many were sold, not many were made, and, uh, yeah, it's why it's such a sought-after game. Uh, so we've got all the single jewels there. Um, we've got the double jewels here, um, which I'll go into a bit later. All the box sets at the back, including two copies of Rockstar Ate My Hamster, because one of them is uh, Spectrum Plus 3 Disc, which is also kind of rare. There's the CD Games pack over there, which I've done a live stream of at one point. And uh, we've got the, the spin-offs, um, well, there's the spin-off Light Gun Games here, Codemasters Light Gun Games. And then there are the, um, the uh, Crash Magazine exclusive versions of Dizzy which are uh, slightly different, maybe shorter or slightly edited. There's a, uh, I don't know if you can see that because of the glare. That's Dizzy 2, Crash Edition. Basically, it's Treasure Island Dizzy. Kick up the 90s. Yeah, so there's loads of stuff here. Uh, and I'm going to go through each one individually because I'm a nerd. And I'm going to do it um, by the numbers as well, I think. But first, I just want to see, I'm quite kind of curious to see how tall a full pile of all the ZX Spectrum uh, Codemasters single jewels are. So I'm going to pile them up and then stand next to them. So uh, back after this short cut. Oh God. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that is extremely wobbly. The chances of me being able to pile all of these up without them toppling over and it being a pain in the ass to clean up is very low. This is like half of the amount of games and 
there's a lot there. And if we look, <laughs> it's, it's already precarious AF. This is like Jenga, but one that's going to make a really loud noise if it falls. Oh, that's definitely not going to stay. Oh, there's still 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. There's still about 45, 46 more to go. Um, but that is not going to stand up. It's toppling now. Um, it's too top heavy. Um, basically, it would be the pile of these games would definitely reach my head. But um, yeah, they're falling. <laughs> we'll leave the rest to your imagination, but you know, if I come here, we can see it pretty well. It would, uh, with the other, the other lots about that much. So it would be up to my head. For definite. Hold on! Weak. Well, now I've got to go and reorder all these bastards uh, so I can show them off individually. Sad trombone noise. Shit. Okay, so as you can see, there are a fair few single dual Codemaster Spectrum games to get through, so I'm going to try and do it quick as I can. Now each game has like, uh, let me just try and focus this, each game has a four digit serial number on the back. Come on. Um, there you go. Starting with 2005, that was the very first uh, game published by the Codemasters. It's Phantomas. So 2005 is the very first number and um, I've hopefully got them reordered back in numerical order. They don't go like 2005, 2006, 2007. Unfortunately, there are a few um, gaps in between. But this one here, 2006, Terra Incognita. 2007, Necris Dome. That's a text adventure. Wasn't a fan of it, though. Uh, 2008 is Vampire. That is the sequel to Phantomas. Uh, it's called Phantomas 2 in other territories. BMX Simulator. That is a game by Richard Darling, one of the founders of the Codemasters. Then we've got White Heat. Uh, what is White Heat? Um, I don't even remember playing White Heat. Uh, it's a shoot em up. So White Heat is a lovely super shoot em up. That's 2021, 2023 Snooker Simulator. Loads of simulators in the Spectrum collection. Brain Ache by Olive, uh, Owen Brunette there. That is uh, 2029. Then we've got, oh, no, see, that's 2028. This is what I get from dropping things on the floor. 2028, Transmuter there. That's a uh, another spaceship game. So that's 2028. Then 2029 is Brain Ache. Then 2032, Ghost Hunters, which I believe is the first game um, by Philip and Andrew Oliver that was published on the uh, Codemasters label. So there you go, Ghost Hunters, uh, followed by Super Robin Hood. That is uh, by Mark Baldock, that's 2033. Then we've got uh, Star Runner. This is by Christian Urquhart, a co-programmer of Daily Thompson's Decathlon, 2035 there. So that's one pile, we'll push that to the back. And we've got another pile here. So 2035, 2040, Super G, man, that's Super G, man. Then we've got 2042, Mission Jupiter. That is, uh, looks like a side-scrolling adventure game. A lot of these games I actually only played kind of like once while I was collecting them and didn't get them back in the day. There it is, the classic, very first Dizzy game. Got this one signed by Philip and Andrew Oliver, the creators of the game. That is 2046. 2047 ATV Simulator, that is, um, I think, by Richard Darling again. Then we've got Grand Prix Simulator, that's 2050. 2051 Ski Simulator, so many simulations. Uh, 2052 Fruit Machine Simulator, for all your fruit machine needs if you don't have some 10 Ps. This is 2057 Super Stuntman. And you thought the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, was the only platform that would let you have Super in the name of games. Uh, 2058 3D Star Fighter, actually pretty good technically, uh, graphics wise. That's 2058. It skips from 2058 to 2081. 
That's Superhero. Good game, that. Uh, graphics by uh, Head Over Heels, Bernie Drummond, Head Over Heels. Uh, we've also got Blade Warrior 2083. Features amazing sampled speech there. I hope all this is in focus for you. It's hard to find my focal point. Uh, we've got 2091 there, Pinball Simulator by the Oliver Twins. Then Skateboard Simulator, that is 2099. Then Rugby Simulator 2104. We're in the 21s now. And then Deathstalker is 2122. So yeah, a few a few jumps here and there between the numerical numbers. So that's 2122. So then we want to go this pile here. This is 2123 BMX Freestyle. Uh, 2127 Ninja Massacre, it's kind of like a cheapy um, gauntlet rip off almost, I had a bit of fun playing that with my brother back in the day, The Hit Squad, this is a ridiculous game, 2130 there, then the sequel to Treasure Island, uh, the sequel to Dizzy, it's Treasure Island Dizzy, this is 2131, lovely Treasure Island Dizzy, SAS Combat Simulator is 2137, 2140 BMX Simulator 2, 2142 Arcade Flight Simulator. Look at that. Uh, what else? We got Street Gang Football. £2.99 from John Menzies back in the day. Uh, that's a 2143. Street Gang Football is ridiculous and it has the stupidest loading screen ever. You should check it out if you get a chance on an emulator. Uh, 2145 next. Grand Prix Simulator 2. This is 2149 Twin Turbo V8. A bit like Chase HQ -y kind of graphics on that one. Uh, Fast Food Dizzy, the very first Dizzy spin off, 2167 there. Uh, Moto Cross Simulator, oh, hold it up a bit more, that is 2170. I love how colourful and bright all the covers are of these uh, Codemasters games. MIG 29 Simulator, that's 2177. And another simulator here, 2180. Pro Powerboat Simulator. Lovely stuff. Let's just move these back over here a bit. Because now we're on to... What was it? 2180. We're on to this big pile here. This is Casino Simulator. Monte Carlo Casino. Another £2.99, this time from Boots. Remember when you could buy video games from Boots? That's 2183. Uh... And then 2191, uh, Wizard Willy. This is one of the first, well, this is the first cartoon time release from Codemasters. Um, it follows the name in convention, but instead of having the standard Codemasters logo, it has cartoon time here. This is kind of, these are spin-offs um, to kind of capitalize on the uh, after-school kids TV market, I guess. Wizard Willy there, tee-hee, Willy. Uh, then we go to 2197 which is KGB Super Spy. Who's that by? Written by a defector, it says. Amazing, 2197. 2202 now, Super Tank. Boom, boom, boom. This is the by the author of SAS Combat. Then Pub Trivia, that's 2204. Lovely bit of uh, quiz machine action going on there. Uh, 2207, another cartoon release, Ollie and Lisa 3. Ollie and Lisa th 1 and 2 are not on the Codemasters label, bizarrely. Uh, Prince Clumsy then, straight up with another cartoon time, that's 2209. Um, hey Prince Clumsy. That's Collector's Edition 23. Huh, that's weird. So I've just noticed Wizard Willy, even though it came first, in the uh, the numbering conventions on here with 2191. That's Collector's Edition 3. And these ones came after in the numerical order, but that's 2 and 4. How bizarre, how bizarre. Uh, okay, 2209. So, 2212 Rallycross Simulator. They loved their simulators, didn't they? The Codemasters. Superbike Transam. That's a cool game. Um, Fruit Machine Simulator 2, in case you couldn't get enough of the last one, 2215 that is. And then we've got 2217, Four Soccer Simulators, four soccer games on one tape. That's basically 
the um, prototype for uh, the Quattro collections, which we'll be getting to very soon. 2219 is Champion Jet Ski Simulator. And then 2221, Gunship Simulator. That's by the Oliver Twins. Let's go over here with that. Next pile. This is uh, number one in the collector's edition of the uh, Cartoon Time Adventures, even though it's in the 2224s. Uh, that is Frankenstein Jr. Then my favourite ever Spectrum game ever, and one of, still one of my top games today, Fancy World Dizzy, that's 2236. Then we got Pro Tennis Simulator, 2239. There we go. Dragon Slayer, next Super Dragon Slayer, 2249. Super Dragon Slayer, pretty fun game. Uh, here's another cartoon time. Uh, this is number five, and this is Little Puff in Dragonland. I loved Little Puff in Dragonland back in the day. That's 2253. Next up, The Bounty Hunter, 2257. What's that say? Star Choice Software, £2.99. Bargain, bargain. Pocket money games. Italian supercar is 22.59. Next up, Rockstar 8, my hamster. I remember seeing this on the shop shelves in my local WH Smiths. 22.71, Rockstar 8, my hamster. A little bit tricky, a little bit naughty. Here we go with the Quattro games now. Four games, one tape. Really cool, very good value for money back in the day. Uh, this is Quattro Sports, it's 22.89. Followed by 22. Uh, 92 is the Quattro Adventure, which has Dizzy, Vampire, Ghost Hunters, and Super Robin Hood on there. That was a great compilation, that one. So you can go over there now. Where So we were 22, 92, so that means we got to go to this one. Yeah, 22, 92. Here we go, yeah, 22, 92. So uh, another £2.99. Can't tell what shop that's from. I think it's WH Smith's. Um, that is Pro Golf Simulator. And that is 2300. So on to Quattro Power 2301. Some good sports games on there. Quattro Power. Pro Boxing Simulator. That is 2321. Quattro Combat. Deathstalker SAS Ninja Massacre. Stuff like that, got a lot of use out of this disc as well. Tw uh, tape even, 2325. E 2375, Magic Land Dizzy. I love this game, Magic Land Dizzy is so cool. Uh, Fantasy World Dizzy, Magic Land Dizzy, and the original Dizzy. I think they're the only Dizzy games that I actually legit completed on the Spectrum. Quick Snacks as well, this is uh, 2368. This is probably my favorite Dizzy spin-off. Um, it's such good fun, and also the intro music is incredible. Uh, 2363 Tilt. It's a corker. Tilt was good back in the day. I enjoyed playing Tilt. It doesn't really stand up nowadays, but back in the day it was good. 2362 Wacky Darts. It's like normal darts, but wacky. Uh, Quattro Arcade here, 2351. Some uh, pinball fruit machines and some racing and some 3D star fighting. A little bit of a... A weird mishmash, that one. Uh, Quattro Super Hits 2345. That's uh, got some good collection of games. KGB Super Spy on there, Super Tank. Lovely, lovely. And then Guardian Angel, which has an incredible front cover. Uh, there's a Guardian Angel on New York subway, karate chopping, a violent thug on the head. Um, and then there's a snake wrapped around a samurai sword there, which is awesome. That's 2339. On to the next, so 23.39, bugger, they're in the wrong order, hold on. There we go, now they're in the right order. Should have gone Guardian Angels, Super Hits, Arcade, Darts, Tilt, Quick Snacks, then Magic Land Dizzy. Oh, I feel bad now, so 23.75, takes a bit of a, bit of a jump. Again, as long as I've got everything in the right order this time, uh, we're going to Kamikaze now. Uh, this has jumped to 2421 Kamikaze, then 2429 CJ's Elephant Antics. Good little platformer there, enjoyed playing that back in the day. Um, 2434 750cc Grand Prix, some motorbiking. 
Then what have we got? 24, 35, following straight on after. Quattro Firepower, that's quite a hard Quattro to get hold of if you're thinking about collecting Spectrum games. That one might take a while to find. Uh, Slightly Magic, 24, 46 next. Love Slightly Magic. You can actually buy Slightly Magic on Steam. Uh, so if you want to replay it or play it for the first time, you can find it on Steam. And it's such a cool little adventure game. Spike in Transylvania next, 2461. Um, back in the day, I really didn't get on with it, but I've uh, played it again recently and found it a lot easier to get on with. 2465, Quattro Coin Ops. For some reason, Fast Food Dizzy's on there. I think that's because it's like a Pac-Man spin-off. Hello, just spotted one I missed on the floor there. This is 2126, uh, Bigfoot. So that one fell down from when my pile crashed onto the ground. All right, yeah, back on it. Okay, Tornado ECR. Found this one really hard to find as well. This is a 2447. Um, got it in the end, though. Um, then Quattro Racers, 2448. Loads of bike games and then Championship Jet Ski as well. Quattro Cartoon, 2456. We've got basically all of the Cartoon Time games there, or at least four of them. Uh, next, 2460, Paris to Dakar Racing, that's a pretty good racing game. And then 2482, Quattro Skills, got some good sports games on there. Um, rugby Simulator, Tennis Simulator, Skateboard Simulator, blah, 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 blah. 2486, Mountain Bike 500, what happened to Mountain Bike 1 through to 499, we'll never know, it's 2485, 2487, First Division Manager, football game, um, Miami Chase 2500, it's kind of a cool game but a bit weird. Uh, Sky High Stuntman 2504. This is uh, my. I had this one back when I was a kid, but this one can be quite hard to find if you're collecting nowadays. Uh, CJ in the USA 2510. This is, says it's X rated, but I've not seen any uh, reason why it's X rated at all. I think they just put it on there to try and maybe sell some more copies uh, because, yeah, it's just the same as CJ's Elephant Antics but different levels, basically. Um, so yeah, that, we're in the 2500s now. This is where things start to get a little bit harder to find. Uh, Super Seymour Saves the Planet. This is my original one from back in the day as well. This is basically like Bomb Jack, really like this one. That's 2545. Uh, 2577, Quattro Fantastic. That's, well, it's, I don't, wouldn't say it's fantastic, but it's okay. Um, 2587 Bubble Dizzy, not my favourite um, Dizzy spin-off to be honest, it's very tricky. 2591 Quattro Fighters, some action games there including Kamikaze. Uh, 2637 Big Nose's American Adventure, that's kind of tricky to get as well. Uh, Murray Mouse Super Cop there, that is 2637. Um, that is uh, probably the first rare game I managed to find in a random eBay bundle. So um, I got that early on in my recollecting. It's, it's tricky to find, but it's not impossible. Uh, it's also pretty good. Mario Mouse Super Cop. Then we've got Soccer Pinball. This is uh, 2640. I found Soccer Pinball really hard to find, but as soon as I found it, I stumbled across three other copies uh, in and around eBay. Stag the Slug. This is a tricky one to find. Found this on eBay for a fiver, though. Everyone in the Spectrum community was very jealous that I did that. 2645, that one is. Stag the Slug. Then uh, Spellbound Dizzy. 2664. Um, great game, Spellbound Dizzy. Really cool. Fetches quite a bit like for single jewel games, to be honest. Not right up there, high amounts, to be honest. Probably about 20 or 30 quid nowadays. But yeah, Spellbound Dizzy, Dizzy great game. Uh, really big Spectrum uh, Dizzy adventure. Then we've got 2666. Uh, 2666, uh, Seymour Goes to Hollywood, love Seymour Goes to Hollywood, very funny game, spin-off of the Dizzy series. Uh, then we've got uh, Striker in the Crypts of Trogan, 2669, this is also quite tricky to find. I managed to stumble across an eBay bundle of this that had two copies in it, so I bought one and sold another to a collector, which was very nice indeed, very nice indeed.
All right, on to the last pile, Dizzy Down the Rapids. Um, I had to track that down and buy that off another collector. That's 2672. Can be difficult to find, not impossible though. DJ Puff. DJ Puff's Volcanic Capers is the full title. This is the second hardest um, ZX Spectrum Codemasters game to find, 2676. It is very tricky. It's not a brilliant game, um, but yeah, expect to pay a lot of money if you want to find that. That's for sure. 2676 DJ Puff. Um, is this? I think this is the last... Quattro game to find, Quattro Megastars. This can also be pretty tricky to find. This is 2679. That is uh, got Sky High Stuntman, CJ's Elephant Antics, Little Puff, and Bigfoot on there. Good selection though. Um, 2687 is Grell and Fella in the Enchanted Gardens. This is um, a very technically advanced game, very big sprites in there. Uh, it runs like dog shit on the spectrum and it's incredibly hard to find. But um, if you're a Codemasters collector, you're going to want to get a, your hands on a copy of that because, yeah, it's a, it's a one of a kind, really, Graham Fella. Um, following up from that, Captain Dynamo. We're in the 20, 2702 now, 2700s. Um, Captain Dynamo is a really good game. I really enjoy Captain Dynamo. Actually, uh, when this came out, we had an Amiga by this point, and I had this game on the Amiga. But the, uh, the Spectrum conversion is pretty good. Uh, following up from that, 2706, Dizzy Prince of the Yoke Folk. I also very much enjoy Dizzy Prince of the Yoke Folk. Um, I think that's my original copy that um, I played back in the day. Loved that game. Kind of like a shorter, shorter version of Dizzy, but still um, very inventive. Then 2711, Turbo the Tortoise. I got the, um, I think, a company called High Tech released this first and I got it on high tech release which is also quite rare but it's hard to find the spectrum version as well uh, Turbo the Tortoise is 2711 and that is a very 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 good game really cool ZX Spectrum platformer that one uh, following up Wild West Seymour 2718 I saw one of these on sale recently for about 35 quid um, a, a really good um, Seymour adventure game just like um, Seymour goes to Hollywood. It's inspired by Dizzy, those kind of puzzles, but with a bit more of a comical fourth wall breaking um, vibe to it. Basically, Seymour is like the Deadpool of the Dizzy universe. Um, then we've got Seymour Stuntman 2721. This is a really hard one to find, but I managed to, um, a friend I know managed to get it for me for uh, cheap. It's very much like DJ Puff, basically, or, or DJ Puff's Volcanic Capers, or CJ's Elephant Antics. It's on, it's on that kind of vein, I believe. Um, then we've got Wrestling Superstars. Unfortunately, mine's got a little bit of pen on the front of that. But um, again, this one's very hard to find. 2747 Wrestling Superstars has uh, an unlicensed uh, image of Hulk Hogan on the front, even though it's not Hulk Hogan. Uh, they just basically traced a picture of Hulk Hogan for it. Cheeky, cheeky. Um, then 2752, the second from last Codemasters game ever released on the Spectrum. This is uh, Robin Hood Legend Quest. I found this very easily, but other people have a terribly hard time of finding it. And then finally, the very last game released, 2780, Sergeant Seymour Robot Cop. So that, my friends, is all the single jeweled ZX Spectrum games, I believe, unless a few more fell under my sofa when the pile dropped, which is very, very possible. So yeah, full collection there, I hope. Um, now let's go on to the spin-offs. Actually, before we do the spin-offs, I'm going to do the double jewels. Uh, these went along with the uh, the conventions of the uh, the codes on the bottom. So these kind of actually were released in between the single jewels. That's 2078. This is Race Against Time, and there's actually two copies of the Race Against Time. Um, basically, and I can't remember which one is which, but one of these images was copyright or something about it was copyright, um, and they had to uh, re reprint it basically with a, an image that was allowed to be used. But this was uh, all profits go to Sports Aid 88. And yeah, if you're serious about collecting, you're going to want to get the color and the black and white version of that. 
then there is Jet Bike Simulator. There's a single jewel of Jet Bike Simulator, but this one comes with um, two tapes because you get some extra tracks with it um, if you're really keen on Jet Bike Simulations. And then there's also a double jewel of BMX Simulator, which also comes with two tapes for some extra tracks as well. And four player simultaneous action. So that's the, um, that's the double jewels. Then there are the spin-offs. So let's grab these. Now when I say spin-offs, I'm, I'm, there's like, this is the Codemasters Defender light gun tape. Uh, this is a, a light gun published by a company called Cheetah and then Codemasters basically did the, um, the light gun games for it, which includes Bronx Street Cop, Billy the Kid, Jungle Warfare, um, advanced pinball simulator for some reason uh, but yeah Codemasters did all the games for that so you know you want to get that if you're a if you're a collector and then we got the magazine tape so we got the complete dizzy game from uh, was this a might have been a your Sinclair yeah this was on your Sinclair this tape and you actually had to cut out the inlay from the magazine and uh, when I got this tape, it didn't have, it came without the box, so then I had to go on eBay and buy the magazine and cut the inlay out. But yeah, that's, so that's the original Dizzy. It also comes with Lords of Chaos, which is a great game. Uh, then we've got Dizzy, um, th oh, no, let's do this one first. Dizzy the Crash Edition, which is exactly the same as Dizzy, but um, you can't complete it and the Crash logo's in and around bits. It's basically like a demo of Dizzy, um, slightly changed. Um, as is Dizzy 2, the special Crash Edition on the Kick Up the 90s tape. It's like Dizzy, it's Treasure Island Dizzy, changed a bit um, with some added Crash jokes put in, and I don't think you can complete that one either. Uh, then we've got Crash Presents, four incredible Codemasters games here. Phantomas, Dizzy, being a BMX Simulator and Fruit Machine Simulator. It's basically like a Crash Quattro tape. Uh, and then, yeah, Dizzy 3.5, which was a very cool Dizzy game that didn't star Dizzy. It starred his nephew, whose name I can't remember. But this bridged the gap between Fantasy World Dizzy and Magic Land Dizzy, which was a nice little, um, you know, a, a very cool little thing to do back in the day. Uh, I enjoyed completing that, even though it was only about three screens long. Okay, we're on the home straight now with the box set. There's the uh, Full Soccer Simulator box set. This came out before the smaller version, the um, kind of like uh, the single jewel version, which is around here somewhere. There's uh, Richard and David Darling, the Codemasters twins, who uh, look very similar to the guys on the box as well. But I think I was told on Twitter that it's not meant to be them. But there, Full Soccer Simulator, four great games. Now, this is on tape. Um, and I'm not 100% sure, but I've heard that there is a plus three version of this around. I only ever managed to find a plus three version of this that was Spanish, um, which is kind of published by a different person. So I don't count that as part of the Codemasters collection that I'm going for. I'm, I'm just trying to co uh, collect the UK versions of things. So I don't know whether there is actually a UK version of this on plus three, but if there is, I need to get that really for the full collection. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got the Mega Hot 8 game compilation pack there. Uh, that's basically Rugby MiG-29. Loads of games that you'd normally find on Quattro, but there's eight of them. Um, decent compilation pack, but not one I had back in the day. I had to pick that up recently. Um, let's go to this one next. So, Rockstar Ate My Hamster box set. One is um, tape and the other is Spectrum Plus 3 Disc. Plus 3 Disc has um, all the gubbins inside. It's got cards, it's got the badges, and uh, yeah, it's got the, uh, the Plus 3 Disc as well. Um, and then the cool little booklet, which is set out like a newspaper and a TV guide and things. Very cool box set that, and I was very glad to get both the tape and the disc versions of that for a full collection. Um, then we've got the CD games pack, which is really cool, a bit of a novelty. Uh, there's loads and loads of Spectrum games here on a CD, which you have to run through a hi-fi into your Spectrum using a, um, a custom cable uh, that goes through into the joystick port, believe it or not. 
that's a very cool game. That was actually sold to me by a, um, a reader of Eurogamer who saw one of my articles about collecting Codemasters games back in the day. So thank you very much uh, to you, sir, for helping me complete my collection. Let's get that back down there. Uh, and then we'll finish off with the um, kind of dizzy ish box sets. We've got Crystal Kingdom Dizzy here. Crystal Kingdom Dizzy was never done in a single jewel. It was only done in this box. This can be quite expensive to find but there's been quite a few recently and that's driven the prices down a bit. But great game Crystal Kingdom Dizzy and uh, there's been a very cool remake of this made that you can get on emulator sites that give a bit more colour to it and make it a bit more similar to the 16-bit um, versions. Uh, then we've got the Dizzy Collection. This is, uh, again, I got this signed by Philip and Andrew Oliver, uh, the Oliver Twins who made it. Uh, this was mine from back in the day. Cartoon Collection, this was also mine from back in the day. It's in a bit of wear and tear though, but it all works. And uh, there's some good games in there. Seymour, CJ, Slightly Magic, great selection. Uh, then we've got Dizzy's Excellent Adventures. I got this for Christmas a long, long time ago, probably like 94, maybe earlier than that. It's got Spellbound Dizzy in it, so probably, yeah, 94. Um, played the shit out of this. Then we've also got Super All-Stars. I found this one very hard to find and the box is a bit damaged, but there we go. Super All-Stars is very cool. We've got uh, Turbo the Tortoise, Magic Land Dizzy, Captain Dynamo on there, uh, CJ and USA, Steg the Slug, really cool compilation, that one. And then finally, the Superstar Seymour compilation, which has um, every Seymour game on there, uh, including Sergeant Seymour Robot Cop which is, uh, as you know, the very last game I had to get to complete this collection. Hello, just found another tape that I missed out that had fallen on 42425. Tarzan Goes Ape. I think there might be some more that have gone under my sofa as well. But uh, yeah, <laughs> there's, there's so many Spectrum games. Ah! Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, you are all wonderful, especially those of you who've chosen to support the channel through the super chats and the membership features. You are all legends. Uh, have a great day and join me back here on Platform 32 for more live streams and shenanigans soon. Bye!